By the way, when is Hunter Biden doing his thing? It's because coming up pretty it, by soon. By the way, if you buy any of my art, you don't meet the president. And I think that is something that you can hang your hat on and go, yeah, I bought this and I didn't have to meet that guy. Can you guarantee that, Glenn? Is that part of the... I can guarantee it. Okay, I now I think these paintings it. are going to sell. I will not introduce you, not only to the president, I won't introduce you to my father. <laughs> that would be weird. Yeah, that would be, at this point, would yeah. be a little weird. Yeah. Uh, but, hey... Uh, Who's, by the way, uh, been sprinkled over the uh, third hole of the Seattle uh, golf course. So, that's where my dad is. If you just play through, just think of him. <laughs> just think of him. All right. <laughs> Anyway. It was wonderful, wonderful. It was probably not. Uh, it was probably best not to ask permission. Uh, you know, to do that. People don't like ashes being spread on their property. I've noticed this yeah. is a, is a theme. I've heard this from yeah. many people over the years. I didn't understand why he wanted that. You mean so, Dad? For the rest of you know uh, history. People with spiky shoes will be walking all over you. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what that means, but that's what he wanted. So and swearing that they just missed shots over, uh, you know, yeah. at your grave, yeah. cheating. Um, you know, actually, that's why he wanted to be buried there, uh, or yeah, wanted, uh, not buried there, but uh, sprinkled there. Which he we didn't do. Of course, we didn't do that. I'm no. just making that up. But the reason why he wanted that was because. He this is, you know, in like nineteen thirty, he was a little kid and he was uh he was going after golf balls. And uh he would hide in the woods and somebody would shoot and he would go out and he'd steal the golf ball and he would uh run back into the woods and then he would sell those golf balls back to the clubhouse. Hey, I just found all these golf balls and uh sell them back. So a guy at that hole caught him and uh said what are you doing, little dude? And, yeah, I don't know what my dad said, but he, you know, obviously was like, uh, not definitely not stealing golf balls. <laughs> uh, and the guy said, you work for me for the rest of the summer. You're going to be my caddy. Be, and I'm not paying you. You come out, you're my caddy for the rest of the summer. Otherwise, I turn you in. And that's how my dad fell in love with golf and learned how to golf and stopped stealing golf balls, uh, you know. I could have been a ward of the state had he been in prison. Uh, you know, could have been a very dark story. And as it turns out, <laughs> kind it of, just ends in ashes. Yeah, actually ends pretty darkly. Uh, still, yeah. <laughs> it's still a dark ending to that story. Well, it's that kind of a story that you would get if you went to the art show tomorrow, because uh, all of them have stories. All of the all of the paintings have stories. There's some pretty dark stories in the art world overall, too. I mean, this Hunter Biden thing, as much as it seems like it's just this evil partisan attack to the media, the art world has a lot of this stuff going on. I mean, I, I doubt Stu, that people. Stu, are, Stu. Well, mm -hmm. Do you know how many people are like really good artists? Mm -hmm. I mean, who have gone to school, have trained, have sweated their entire life, right. and they are far better than I am. Mm hmm that hate my guts right now okay they hate me because the entire art world is a racket now if this offends anybody in the art world that might carry my art i don't mean you right um but it's a racket i mean because the prices are arbitrary i was talking to a guy in new york who is one of the most famous painters alive today okay he is he is very well known and he's he's amazing um and i had an opportunity to talk to him and he said you know i'm getting to the i'm getting to the age where i don't care what they do to me anymore and i'm like what do you mean and uh he said this whole thing is a sham he said i'm involved with you know, I don't want to wait and name names, but the big art galleries in the New York City area. And he said, it's a it's a money laundering system. He said, it is a money laundering system. Drugs, guns, whatever needs to be laundered. That's what's happening. You ever wonder, Glenn, why somebody who's painting, you know, a painting and it's blue and it sells for 500 grand? Why, you know... Pantone number 23 is uh, selling for that much? And I'm like, yeah, I actually have wondered that. And he's like, I'm not saying all cases, but he said 
a lot of times money laundering is going on. And that is exactly what Hunter Biden figured out. This is a legal way that no one can say that's not worth that. Did you see his uh, story out in the news uh, today where he said, oh, you know what? I tell anybody who says my art isn't worth that to F off. Well, that was very, mm. that's well spoken. It You've turned isn't... me around. Yeah. Did he throw the um, N word in this time or no? Did he just uh, skip it? No, not this okay. time. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he probably wasn't on crack yesterday. He was just on crack on videotape. I think that was Monday. So... Mm -hmm. Maybe he's calmed down a little. Um, but he said, you know, in this in this um, response, nobody can tell you what anything is worth. It's worth whatever people will pay for it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mr. Free Market over uh -huh. here. Yeah, Mr. Free Market. Um, you've just figured out a way to launder money. They're, they are marketing him in China, not in America. In China. Why? Why in China? Where... He's not a celebrity. Maybe he is. <laughs> He's so well known over there that he actually is a celebrity in China. Yeah. It's uh, a racket. But it's for a, for bad reasons, uh, I would say. Yeah. yeah. It really is. I mean, I, look, I, I actually agree with him uh, in that, you know, it is worth what people want to pay for. I mean, there, there's oh, nothing it is. wrong with that. It's just... No. no one wants to pay that much money for Hunter Biden's art. There's nobody who believes he's a, a really talented artist. There's no one on, the, or on earth, including Hunter Biden, who believes he's a talented artist. It's all about whether people are going to uh, try to funnel money through him or, uh, you know, to at the very the best case scenario here is the person who's trying to uh, memorialize some news story essentially like someone who's buying it for the weirdness of it and the fact that there might have some I, historical honestly, value i would buy his art for a thousand dollars i'd buy one piece for a thousand dollars just to put it into the museum archives so someday 40 years down the road you could point to corruption and say and this is the art that he was selling mm -hmm. i i would i would spend that and you know me i've bought a lot of i've i've bought a lot of crazy stuff for a lot of money for our archives. Mm -hmm. That's all that's worth. That's a minor footnote in American history um, that you would need to hold up and say, this is the example. Uh, you know, whoever's buying it for $500,000, uh, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself, as my dear grandmother used to say to me. I don't think that ever occurred. I'm pretty sure it did.